I'm taking on a ridiculous 1,000 kilometer ultra endurance race here in the Swiss Alps. And I think that this is the perfect vehicle for the job. The uh, support crew are gonna have a blast in this and I'm gonna go through all the features in it and show you what makes it so good. This van is absolutely incredible. It's a medium wheelbase VW Crafter, but it's not any old Crafter. It's been heavily modified by a company called CJL Leisure and costs 110,000 pounds. Yeah, uh, but it is quite possibly the ultimate adventure van for cyclists. So I'm gonna show you everything it has and tell you all about it. We're gonna begin with the outside. So there's some cool aesthetic changes that I just think make it look proper. So we've got uh, upgraded wheels. These are like OZ uh, racing wheels. Um, they give it kind of like a rally look. And on this, we've got big off-road chunky tires. Much prefer having the big high profile tires because you, it's more practical. You know, people put low profile wheels on their vans and they look cool, but it's much easier to curb wheels in, in a massive vehicle. Also got these arches um, that have been added on as well. A little subtle aesthetic change, but it just makes it, gives it some like shoulders, doesn't it? Makes it look a bit more aggressive. And this is a custom wrap that's been applied. So it kind of looks like camo that's, that's on the van. It's not. This is contour lines of the region of Switzerland where we are now. And it's an example of, well, the customization that you can do to these things. But hidden in the, uh, in the wrap, there's also like some cool little messages that they've hidden in there. So it's like beer time. That's at the finish here where we are now. So hopefully I get to have that and it's like steep incline, don't bend it, send it. Nice, right, let's get inside. It's, it's absolutely, I mean, it's incredible. It's nicer than my house in, in this van, ridiculous. Now, in here, we've got a fridge in the kitchen area, which is right here. Um, this fridge is really cool. So in there, got loads of snacks. Um, got the, the cyclist's uh, favorite as well, the mini Coke um, in there and loads of other carbs for the, for the race we're gonna be doing. There's a little freezer in there and this fridge is cool as well. It opens from both sides. I don't know how it does that magic, but um, if you're outside, uh, it's easier to get to. Um, we've also got this bench seat here. So you can have two passengers in the back. We've got a table that folds out and the front seats swivel round. So you can have your table extended out here. Let me just pull this round. And we can pull this one out here. And then you can eat your dinner. You can, you know, formulate your race plan. You can um, watch GCN Plus on your, on your device here or play Warhammer, whatever you're into, whatever. Oh. Oh, sorry about that, probably, probably, probably give that a minute. Uh, but in there, you've got a shower. The hot water in there is powered by a diesel generator, um, which it comes from the diesel tank in the van, or there's electrical heating if you're on hookup. So if you hook up at a campsite, you can heat the water. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to heat up the water, and then you can have a nice hot shower. In there as well is a portable toilet. So this is a little self-contained unit, um, which you can then take out the van to empty and waste dispose of. So it's like a mini portal, pretty clever. Uh, but the idea behind that is it's just more simple than having one plumbed in, um, and you can take it out if you don't need to use it. Uh, so you've got these integrated bags that pop out that again zip into the side. These are integrated wash bags, so cool. So, um, well, in this one, this isn't my makeup. This isn't mine, honestly, it's not, it's not mine. There's something else really clever about the shower and it's got um, an integrated heater inside it. So these hooks, you can hang your clothing on there if you've got wet clothing or if you've washed some clothing, close the shower door, put the heater on and it acts as like a drying room. Clever. The, the kitchen is incredibly well thought out. Um, so here's the sink, and that's actually a, doubles as a chopping board that, that comes out. Um, so, well, yeah, that's the sink. Uh, and then here is um, an induction hob. And uh, now, if, when people are converting vans, they often put hobs in them. Gas hobs are quite popular, but 
If you can do an induction one, so much better because there's less health and safety issues. You don't have to change canisters. It just comes off the inverter from the engine to the leisure battery. It's a lot more simple. It's a lot easier to clean. It's more efficient. Induction is mint. Um, then we've got all the drawers and stuff. Now, the storage in here is wicked. Like, all the kitchen utensils are just going to these foam inserts. Um, we've got all your pots and pans in these nice drawers that then lock into place with these latches. So I've got all sorts in there. We've got uh, cleaning, cooking equipment. Down here, this is wicked. We have got an espresso coffee machine in here and a rice cooker. So I've been using the rice cooker down there to prep a load of food for the event. I've got a load of it in the fridge. I'm gonna do some more today, but yeah, using it to make rice cakes and, and risotto and other things in a nice, easy, self-contained way. Proper cool. Up here is one of the sponsors for the storage. So if you look, there's like storage everywhere throughout all these sponsors. And then, as I mentioned before, they, they tried to make the storage more efficient now. And one of the clever ways they've done that is with these ingenious little bags. So these little hooks pop off and then you can pull these bags out and then these bags fit into the sponsors. So what you can do is take these bags into your house or wherever you are, pack them and unpack them and then just bring them and they fit perfectly into these, uh, into these storage pods. So in here we've got, um, what have we got in this one? Let me have a, let me have a look. Um, uh, so in this one I've got um, oh, my pants, what's in here, that's more pants, um, just this one's just full of pants, Lot I need lots of pants. So here is the, the control panel, which gives you access to the systems in the van. So you've got climate control systems uh, so that you can adjust everything in here. You've got all your nice different lighting options. So you can play with those and you can adjust all the lighting. Um, you've got an option to turn on the hot water and things like that. And you can also see on this screen the status of the leisure battery. So we're currently on 83%. There's a solar panel on the roof which can help charge it, although obviously you need nice sunny day like today, um, or it charges off the engine when the engine's running. Now, when the engine is running, something an additional clever sort of nerdy feature is this van's equipped with a special alternator. So not a standard one that comes in a VW Crafter, it's like an uprated souped up alternator so it can charge the leisure battery at a faster rate. So that's a uh, yeah, quite an important modification when you're wanting to keep the leisure battery nice and, and topped up. Um, and you can also see in this panel the usage of all the different appliances. So when you start, say, cooking on the induction hob or turning on the hot water, you can see the relative usage of the different appliances and how many amps they're using. So at the moment, if you're feeling interested and nerdy, the um, the lights are using 8.89 amps. We're getting back 1.8 amps from solar. Water pump's not on, so that's using nothing. And the fridge is using 2.7 amps. So it's a nice low energy, a low energy fridge. And it's 20.5 degrees outside. Now I'm gonna show you the bed. So to get into the bed, you pull out this ladder. How cool is this? Like that. And that helps you get into bed. Nice, like grips on there. So in the bed here, it is a, a double bed with room for two people. I, I can fully extend out as 6'1". That's quite good, isn't it? In the, in the bed area, you've got more storage space. In here, just got bags with more pants in them. But my favorite thing about the bed is this. But I've saved the best bit till last, really. So I'm gonna come down and show you the bike garage. So this is the bike garage. Now, lots going on in here. Um, at the side there is all the electrics and all the systems, the, the, the main fuse box, the, um, the, the water pumps, things like that. And then we have this. So this tray pulls out 
so you can have access to your bikes. They rack onto this system, front and rear. You can rack them top to toe. There's room for four bikes on here. Um, what we've got in here is my Trigon AR, which I'm using for the Tour de Station. Um, we've got a video all about this bike. It's very nice. We've also got an e-mountain bike racked in the van because uh, that's useful for our camera crew. And there are plug sockets at the back here as well. It's well thought out. So I can charge my DI2 gears and via USB, and we can recharge the e-bike in the back of the van as well, which is which is great. I've got uh, Topeak toolboxes here, big Topeak track pump, load of spare Pirelli tires if, if I need to set those up. Um, I've got wheels stowed in this wheel bag. Uh, we've got, again, loads of storage. So at the back here, there's actually a separate water pump and this comes out as a hose, so I can hose down uh, bikes and clean them on the back of the van. You can actually just pull the bike out, put it here, hose it down, give it a clean. Uh, and to help me do that, in these waterproof bags, I've got all the sort of cleaning products I might need. I've got all the, all the silker stuff in there to wash my bike um, and keep it in tip-top condition. A few spares and bits as well. Got tools organized in there, first aid kit, everything you could think of. You've got these deck chairs that pull out. How cool is that? And then we've got floor mats that can go down so you can wipe your feet before you get in the van so you don't make it all dirty. And the mat's been customized as well. It says Oli BGCN on it. How cool is that? Oh, that's probably cool. You get whatever you want on it. Um, the awning uh, comes out as well, so you can have under the shade if you want to get out the sun. And the table actually moves. So the table is designed to come out here, and then it slots on there, and then We've got a, a table outside. You can have your dinner like this, have a barbecue, whatever you like. And I've not even mentioned the fact that it's got an incredible Alpine upgraded sound system throughout the entire van. So you can have your, your own banging tunes, just, you know, a, giving you a soundtrack to this incredible Vista. Ordinarily, I would show it to you and I'd be playing some incredible jazz funk. Um, but because of copyright restrictions, I can't. So you don't get to hear the uh, audible delight of the uh, visceral groove of funk combined with the uh, cerebral musicality of jazz on this occasion. You just have to use your imagination. For me, this is what the van life thing is all about. You, you can transport your bikes efficiently and come to places where you can you know, ride in incredible scenery and different places each day if you want, all the while getting to enjoy sunrises and sunsets on views like that. It, it, I mean, oh, it's absolutely incredible. I absolutely think, think it's fantastic. But let us know what your thoughts are on um, on, on you know, van life and also this van in particular and what you would do if you were converting a van. What would you do differently? What would you spec in your dream van? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest up now because tomorrow is the biggest ride of my entire life. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, eat some food and have a sleep. Bonjour. Bonjour. Au revoir.